right, here we go. All right, here we go. Not very loud. Hopefully the new one is much louder. This is the new one. About to put it on, see how it does. All right, got this right here. Horn was installed on the bike. I just gotta tighten everything down. Uh, this was the stock horn. As you can tell, not very good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a sound test. Again, that's my alarm. That's not the horn. All right, here we go. That's insanely louder. Uh, but it kind of sounds like a clown car. So, I don't know. I guess you get the uh, Miata or the clown car. Seems to be the two things here. Get it close up. Again, I haven't put in the nuts to the little bolts to hold up the USB box. But I had to bend the bracket up. I don't think you can see it from there. So, you might be able to see it here. I basically bent it in the shape of like an, like an L. So, you can kind of see it from there on the back side. Uh, hate these screens on these GoPros. Turns off too easy. All right. Well, I might just pull it back off and show the uh, actual bracket. So if someone wants to do this themselves, it's easier for them to do it. I'm just gonna loosen this up. I literally took two, uh, took two, um, two sets of pliers and then I just bent this bracket in this shape and it actually works really well it fits in there pretty good the wiring that you're seeing is for my hard lowers for the speakers the speaker wire running out of the fairing um, not too many places to route it through the bike honestly uh, so anyway I'm gonna pull the bracket out right here it pulled power wire and the ground wire off so I can actually get it out of here powers off Ground is off and this no kidding is the bracket this is how I had to make the bracket I try to get in as you can see all I did was I just bent it so it was straight up and down obviously you can see where I bent it in two different places there and it actually makes it sit straight up and down inside that little pocket that's right here all right nobody had like install videos on it. it's not really an install video but it's definitely gonna be helpful if you buy this exact this exact horn here from amazon if you buy this horn from amazon all right you buy this one from amazon you're gonna have to do this to get it to fit or you or it's just gonna stay way out of that pocket and it's gonna look goofy or could interfere with your brake lines your clutch lines all that good stuff okay so anyway i'm gonna put this back on real quick i'm actually gonna leave the tripod on or leave the camera on excuse me <laughs> uh, i don't know if the lighting's any good but it's my garage so i have too much of a choice all right so quite literally you gotta go in here I actually marked which one was positive and which one was negative. You can see it on there. Just that way it makes it easier putting it back on and off, on and off. All right. I don't even know if you switch the polarity on these, if they still work right or not, but I'm not going to try it. I'll just leave it positive to where positive is supposed to go and negative to where negative is supposed to go. All right. All right. Positive and negative right in there. Get this thing into its position here if I can <laughs> all right there we go so as you can see there's a little hole in there. it's hard man it's hard to see that it's so tight but you can see 
it's back there. Anyway, just fucking match up the hole. Excuse me. That it's gonna sit about right here, which is awesome. That literally sits in a perfect spot right there with no issues. All right, let me get finished with this. I like it came out pretty good. Of course, I had to pull it up this way to uh, to get it out from underneath there. But, you know, pretty good, I think. Full turn, radius, I don't have any turning or anything. Come over here. And the horn is still quite a bit louder. Here we go. 